you. Floss Tooth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever it is you're watching me. I am recording this in the morning hours of Sunday, May 5th. Welcome. This is my name is Amy. This is my floss tube channel called Mimi Stitchery. It has been probably about a month, I want to say, since my last update video. Um, which is about normal for me this time of year. Uh, it's just three weeks. So about normal for me this time of year. I am a nursing instructor at a local nursing college. And this time of year, as you can imagine, gets very hectic with graduation only in a couple weeks. So yeah, it's about normal. Sometimes when I'm less busy at work, I do these every week or every other week. But when things get busy at work, I don't really craft an awful lot. Although you'd never know that from the piles that are sitting around me right now. Um, and I keep knocking my desk, so sorry about that. <sighs> so if you're new here, welcome aboard. Um, keep your hands inside the ride at all times because it generally <laughs> moves a little crazy here. Um, if you're a follower that's been following me forever, thanks for continued support, continued comments, continued... I try to reply to all. I did not get to reply to all this last time. However, I have hearted everything so that you know I've seen it. I really, too, try to at least a couple word responses to them all. But as I said, this time of year gets super busy for me. Um, and something's got to give somewhere. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> and so... Um, I have a lot to show. I have I have one finish. It is knitting. I have a bunch of cross stitch whips to show you. I have a new start. One that I was hoping to have finished by today's floss tube and it, I did not. However, it will be finished later today. So stay tuned to my Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I am Mimi Stitchery over on Instagram. I don't post there very often. Um, but when I do, I do. Do you know what I mean? So I have cross stitch whips. I have a knitting finish, a bunch of knitting whips. I have a little bit of cross stitch haul and I'm looking back and forth because I have it separated and I have a little bit of knitting haul. Um, and what else do I have? I have plans for May and I know today's May 5th. So I haven't really, other than one project, I haven't really jumped into my plans for May yet because I'm trying to get a finish on something, um, a cross stitch something. I have coffee in my wifey mug. I have a water here at hand. I have tissues because upstate New York is blooming people. <laughs> and I have a little bit of hay fever going on. I, I'll deal with it. Um, it's just a drippy nose and feeling like I have a little bit of a head cold for about three weeks and then it goes away and I don't really struggle again until fall. Um, but I'll take it. That means nicer weather's on the way. Today it is rainy and overcast. Um, so lighting is going to be an issue today. That's just the way it is. Um, if I want to film on a bright sunny day I should just call in sick to work one day because it seems like every day I work it's bright sunny and 75 but on the days I'm off it is overcast and rainy and in the 50s and 60s can't control the weather people <laughs> so that's it but I'm really excited about my May plans I have really kind of settled into my stitching groove I feel like this year and I'm stitching what I want what I want and I'm getting way more done I feel like overall um, April excluded <laughs> um, May is always kind of a crapshoot month for me too because of graduation but it's like the first half of May is really busy and then the second half kind of gets less busy for me at work because graduation is middle of the month um, so it's all the things right the husband and I have been working on getting the outside set up uh, last year we removed a deck off the back of our house and the pool and went right down to a step down patio which is easier to maintain we travel as much as we can in the summertime um, so the patio is just easier to maintain and so we spent some of our free time this last couple weeks because the weather's been half decent 
I'm setting up the patio and we had a campfire one night and working on the camper and getting that ready for the season. We have a new to us camper. Um, so we're getting that ready. Uh, in a couple weeks we'll be camping and <laughs> we're just excited. Things are moving along. Um, we have our oldest grandchild's birthday is this coming week. So Zoe, if your mom's watching this, happy birthday. I don't know if they watch. Um, but I will talk to her soon and, um, yeah. Um, hmm. I think that's all the life. Life's just busy. You know, you think the kids are grown up and out of the house, you'd be less busy and that's just not how that works out. Right. Hmm. But all right, we're about six minutes in. Shall we get started with stuff? Okay. Let's talk, I'm going to try to put these in kind of, well, a little bit of the order I worked in. Some things, you know, how that goes, right? The first thing I remember working on in April is my gold collection. Um, this is Enchanted Ornament Stocking. I'm doing this with the kit fabric and the kit floss. So I'm trying to kind of move these out of the way. And this is where I've gotten to. Now, I was asked this question, so sometimes I park, sometimes I don't park. When I park, this is the question, when do I choose to park? So I park, I'm a notorious miscounter. So I park when the thread's far enough away where I'm not exactly 100% sure I've got it in the right hole, and so I just have it hang out there. I kind of circle the symbol on my chart, and then when I get there, I adjust it. But this is how far I've gotten on my Enchanted Ornament. I feel like I got decent progress on here. It was barely started before. But yeah, I feel like I got decent progress. Um, yeah, considering I had restarted this on another fabric, didn't like it, and went back to the kit fabric. So there's that. The other whip that I worked on is one of my two whips that I'm... I've committed to getting done this year. This is Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is being stitched on, I believe it's 40 count heritage and it's with stash dive threads because I kitted this up during the pandemic when supplies were an issue. Um, but here we go. I'm stitching this with a bunch of my Stitchy Sisters. Actually, it's not Heritage. This is on 36 Count Valor by Picture This Plus. And if you want my stash dive conversion, I will give it to you. I will tell you that some of the variegated are farmhouse flossies. Um, yeah, they're farmhouse flossy colors. So if you don't know her, she's on Facebook. But that's where I am. I'm on target still to finish this by the end of the year. And this will stay out for May, regardless of my plans, so I can continue to work on that. The second project that I've been working on is also a commitment to finish this year. I am working on this with Gail from Gail's Golden Needle. We have affectionately termed it all the freaking trees. Um, but I don't think that's a term that's new to us. I think that's been thrown out there. This is And a Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. I am stitching this on 36 Count Mushroom by XJU Designs with all the called for floss. I am changing up what's in the center of this tree to what Lindy Stitches put into hers. And let me pull this out. Okay, this is how... Let me see if I should have folded this so it was all ready to show you. Okay. This is where I am. May's homework will take us up to this top corner here. I know Gail's already started on her May's homework. I have not. But like I said, I'm trying to get a finish on something else that should happen sometime today. 
And as soon as it does, this will come back out. But look how good that looks. I love it. I love working on it. I'm so happy that I took these two projects and split them up. So at least two significant finishes will happen this year. Um, and like I said, as soon as I'm done with my other little finish, that will come back out in my rotation. I also picked up one of my full coverage. Oh, I didn't bring it in here. It is World of Disney. I do not have a picture to show you. However, it is on the internet all over the place. There's lots of people working on this. I'm stitching this on 28 count Mushroom Lugana, two over one tent stitch. And I put a thousand stitches in. Will this ever get done in my lifetime? I don't know. It has a shot if I can get my whip count down and put more time into it. Um, and that's one of the goals this year. But I do have a new start to show you. It's a very small new start. It's a sale that I'm in um, that I was really excited about, so I decided to do it. Um, but I'm hoping to get some finishes this year and start less. So this is World of Disney. I mainly filled, I know it looks like it's not missing stitches up here, but I mainly filled in a lot here and then did some of this area here. Um, and I'm just working on it as I go, as I want. But yeah, looks good. Looks good. Um, I'll show you a whip and then a new start. So my whip is Tree of Life by Mill Hill. This is almost finished. And I am hoping to get it finished today. Today or this evening. Um, let me put the paper behind it. I don't even know if we need the paper behind it anymore. But here you go. So I've got a lot of this beaded. A lot of this area beaded. The dove is in. The circle is beaded. All except for this bottom area here. Because I don't have all the X's in here. I have some X's to put in here. Just a few. And I have a few to fill in down here. And then the beading will be done. I already have the frame for this one. Already sitting down in my sewing room. So... As soon as this is done, this will get FFO'd into that frame. I'm so happy. Um, my friend Lori sent me this frame. Her husband made it to help me because I was complaining so much on our Zooms about stitching on the perforated paper. And this frame has now made this a joy to stitch on. I can put it in my Lowry or my lap stand and I can two hand stitch much easier, much faster. So this I'm hoping to have done today. So hoping to have it done for today's video, but I decided to work on my new start this morning. Otherwise this would have been done. But this is next. This is getting worked on and I'm hoping to have it done. If not taped tomorrow. So by the next floss tube, you should see this in the frame. And I should have another empty project bag. I was just bragging about having empty project bags this morning. So there you go. I am, I know some of you don't believe me um, because I hear about it, but I am dedicated to reducing my whip count this year. Um, so yeah, anything that I start will need to be finished this year. Yeah. The last cross stitch whip I'm gonna show you is a sale that I joined. It is called the Book of Fungi Sale. This is put on by Living on the Rainbow. And I'm gonna show you her Etsy shop address is right there. And the frame, the spine and the back frame released, I think on the third, I'm pretty sure on the third. I didn't get to start it until yesterday so that would have been the fourth and i'm stitching this on an 18 count piece of ada that i over dyed myself and i'm working on the front frame right now so it'll be the front frame and then the spine and then the back frame will be over here and i think the next i didn't bring that paper with me but i think the next release comes out like may 17th or something like that 
Um, and I think it's the front cover and then the back cover comes out and then the pages come out. So I pulled a piece of 36 count Edinburgh mocha linen to do the pages in. And this is 18 count Ada. So the stiffer Ada for the outside of the book and then the linen a little more flexible for the inside of the book. But I watched Amy Loves Toads do Book of Monsters, was it called? And I really enjoyed watching her. And I have another pattern by Living on the Rainbow. It's like a Halloween house. It's like a purple house. And I just think it's cool to stitch things and make things like a book out of it or a house, something that stands up. Um, so, yeah. And so I'm working on this. Ada's really easy for me to stitch on. Generally, I will say this morning I had to use magnification just because my eyes are tired from work. But yeah, um, that's where I'm at. So hopefully the Mill Hills finish this, well, this weekend, today and tomorrow are my weekend. Um, the Mill Hill will get finished and I will work on the frame, pull out my May homework for both Autumn Town and Anda Forest Grew. And I think I will talk to you about my May plans. Other than the May homework for Anda Forest Grew and Autumn Town, I'm wanting to finish Mill Hill, like I told you, get my release one stitched on the fungi sale, but the rest of my time is going to be focused on my mirrors and my mushroom and fern shuttling. So I currently have two large mirrors that are not in the garage. So if you're not around, not around when I put things in the garage, at the beginning of the year, I chose 24 whips to concentrate on this year. Excuse me, and I put all the rest into what I call the garage, which is a cubby hole in my bedroom now. It used to be in this room, but it's in my bedroom now. And so those 24 whips are sitting out next to my stitchy chair in my living room. And those are the things I'm concentrating on this year. These two are in those 24. And I'm going to focus on them in May. So my first one that I'll show you where I'm sitting at right now is Royal Holiday. I absolutely love my mirrors. I never thought I'd be a mirror girl. I'm stitching this on. It's a Fabrics by Stephanie. I think it's Abyss. It's 28 count Lugana. And this is where I am currently. So she's coming out and get some work this month. I have already worked on her this year. However, I want to give her some more progress. So she's coming out to be worked on. The other mirror that's coming out right next to my stitching chair. Let me figure out where to put all this stuff. Sorry, my husband's working on something outside, which is loud, if you can hear that is Queen of Freedom. This is being stitched on, what is it being stitched on? 30 count Constitution Linen by Primitive Hair. I'm nowhere near as far on this one as I am on Royal Holiday, but still. Oh, I have a needle poking up here. Hold on, let me figure it out. Oh, it's good, oh no. So I would like to get more work done on her. And this is what I have done so far. So yeah. I'd like to work up here and start outlining some areas for fill-in. Um, just because the mirror charts I find, I'm a pattern keeper girl, so mirror charts I find are a little cumbersome to work with. Um, but if you outline areas, there is on mirrors quite a bit of fill-in area, and there's some confetti areas too, so I can't do it there. But I can do fill-in area, outline areas on the neck, and the colors here, and do some fill-in and not have to look at the chart as much. Um, so yeah, I'd like to get the back stitcher done around her face. Yeah, I'd like to get a lot of progress there. So those are the two mirrors. 
Now, the mushroom fern chatelaine has not been out in a, at least a couple of months, I think. I am stitching this on 28 count mushroom Ugana with all the called for threads that I procured myself that I will never do that again because I did, I have, um, what is it? Why am I totally blanking? I have another Chatelaine in the garage right now, evening in the park. And that I bought the kit from European Cross Stitch. And although it's a big chunk of money, I probably spent that and then some to kit this one up on my own. And it's just better just get it from European Cross Stitch. But let me show you where I'm at currently. And I haven't decided where I'm focusing on this yet. Oh, I have to stand up. This is where I'm at right now. I have visions that I would focus on getting these brown branches around all four sections. But I start out doing that and then I get bored with that and move to something else. And you can see all the threads from my parking. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to focus in on this. Maybe I will focus in on the center and get that completed. I don't know. I haven't decided. I guess I will figure that out when I pull it back out. Now, um, I, Lindy Stitches recently did a floss tube where she showed she finally framed hers. It was watching her work on her mushroom and fern chatelaine that got me started on chatelaines. I had never heard of them before. So I'm kind of excited um, to work on my chatelaine. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this month. I'm looking forward to it because I'm getting into my stitching groove. And I know that I am because I'm excited to work on these projects. I kind of lost some of that along the way. And it's better now, so. I have one piece of haul that's cross stitch and then I'm gonna to move to knitting. So if knitting is not your jam, after I show you this piece of haul, you can peace out and go watch somebody else. If knitting is your thing, hang out, because I got a lot there too. Um, I got, I did put my subscription service to be Stitch Me's Fabric of the Month on hold. Same reason I did with Grace Notes. I just have tons of Ada now, and I have tons of linen. And I really could stitch off of it for quite some time. It's hard because I like them, but I really... Do not want to become a hoarder of all things. Um, so I have a nice stash that I work from. And patterns, fabric, and floss. So I can basically kit up anything I want. I have some things kitted up ready to start. Um, yeah, so I have lots to do. Lots that I want to do that is already here in my house. So if I really want to start a bunch of things, I could. I do really want to get some finishes in, though. So... Um, the last one I got is the April fabric of the month for 2024 and it's called not another sampler. I get 18 count Ada and here it is perfect one to end with cause I absolutely love this. Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. I love all these fabric dyers. It's hard to choose one. That is my favorite, and I, I don't think I can, to be honest with you. Somebody asked me who my favorite fabric dyer was. It's like choosing a yarn dyer. I cannot choose because they're all really great. I have some fox and rabbit fabric here that I think I showed you guys I acquired last time. Uh, I have, I just have a lot, and I can stitch to my heart's content, so I'm happy. Um, if you were only here for the cross stitch and you're going to leave now, Thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate it so much. Go watch somebody else. Get your fix. Be enabled. Do whatever you got to do. But if you're in for knitting, I have some stuff. I think the reason knitting has become such a thing for me is because I have gotten good enough at knitting that I can sit and knit without looking at it. So if it's just straight up stockinette stitches like in socks, 
I can do that during a meeting. I can do that at work during lunch, um, where stitching is harder for me to pull that off. Um, especially since I'm a notorious miscounter. And so then I get distracted. The last time I tried to stitch at work, I ended up frogging everything I stitched at lunch. So I've kind of decided that stitching is not something that's going to go to work with me. Knitting will go to work first. And it's mainly because what I knit. So some of the things I knit won't go to work with me either because I have to concentrate on it. But like socks, straight up just straight knitting, that can go to work. So I find that I'm getting more done. So I have a finish. I belong to the Freckled Whimsy um, Christmassy Striped Yarn Sock Yarn Set. So every month I get a new striped yarn. This was Reindeer Games. And I finished these socks. I did the basic vanilla sock pattern from the crazy K, the crazy sock lady, except I shortened up the cuff on this to 12 rows. Did the slip stitch heel. I think I did. This might be a 60 round leg. I usually do a 50 or a 60 round leg and then whatever I need to fit the person that these are for. These almost exactly match, not quite. You can see here, but close, close. Um, my sister was here for my uncle's memorial and she has claimed these. So now that I've shown these on my floss tube, Jackie, I'm gonna send these off in the mail to you and you can use them as you wish. Uh, but yeah, it makes me happy when people claim things that I'm knitting or that I'm done with. It means that they like them. And honestly, I just enjoy knitting them. I love the Sock of the Month Club. I am going to keep it coming. It's the only club that I have continued with. So I just put on pause my Yarnable. So I just received the last month that I will get on that. Um, but that being said, I've ordered two Christmassy Christmas advents. I've ordered one from Polka Dot Creek and I've ordered one from Leap of Faith Yarns. They're in God's Garden. And the Polka Dot Creek, I think the theme is Elf. So I'm looking forward to those. I was going to order the Cozy Knitter Christmas Advent stripe set. I'm not going to do that now because I didn't expect to order two advents. So, yeah. But that being said, Free by the Sea had a drop of new yarn yesterday and I picked up some of that. So, the yarn's still coming. As you can see, I have a little bit of a stash over here. It's building. I'm happy about that. One day I will not be able to buy all these things. <laughs> um, but here you go. Jackie, these will be yours. I'll send them off in the mail tomorrow. She'll be happy to get these. Okay, so that's more my one finish. So let's talk about whips. My first whip, I have one sock done. So I used to belong to Forbidden Fiber Clothes Yarn of the Month Club, and it was like a fairy tale yarn of the month club. I have one sock done. Um, this is, if you want to know about these markers. You can see K, the crazy sock lady. I use these to mark off every 10 rows of knit and then use these to mark off the next sock as I make it. This is a Forbidden Fiber Co. Yarn of the Month. It's on Gluttony Sock Base, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. It is in the colorway Peter Pan. And I don't know if she has on here what month it was. She doesn't. But it's Forbidden Fiber Co. Good yarn. Um, but here's the first sock. And here is, oh, almost losing stitches. Here is the second. So you can see I'm about 20, because of the markers, I'm about 20 rounds up on the leg. But I have put these on pause at the moment. I'll show you why in a minute. But yeah. But I like them. The orange is a mini that I think I got from Forbidden Fiber Co. But I've lost the sleeve for it. Um, so I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it's Forbidden Fiber Co. But there you go. That's that. 
The reason these are on hold is because I was knitting socks at lunch one day and we have one of our administratives um, in the college. She's retiring this year. And she asked, she asked me to wake her a pair of socks for retirement, which if you know her, it was something was totally unexpected for me. Um, and I felt honored and touched. And so I have put those Peter Pan socks on hold to knit what I'm calling Ann socks. These are, this yarn is from Three by the Sea. It is hard to pick a favorite yarn dyer, but I'm telling you, they haven't put out anything that I don't like, but many are putting out yarns that I would love to have in my stash. This is called Mrs. Claus. It's on their Sanibel Bay, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. Mrs. Claus, it came out last Christmas time. I can show you what it looks like in the cake. So this is Mrs. Claus. Oh, oh, oh. And then this was the mini, hold on, that came with it. Absolutely. Oh man, color, right? Um, let me put this all together. And this is the sock. So I put a little pop of color in the cuff. Kay, the crazy sock lady, um, that's her signature thing. I think <laughs> I enjoy putting the pop of color. If this will get red heels and toes per Anne's request. Um, but these are the pretty socks. Look at them. I am super, <laughs> I am hoping, usually when I make a pair of socks, I have enough yarn to put in another pair, whether I make it scrappy socks or something. So I cannot wait to put these into some scrappy socks. I also put some of each yarn in my Cozy Miss Memories, which you'll see in a minute. But yeah, it looks good. I'm about 50 rows on the leg. I think I'm going to do a 60 round leg for her. Um, and then she's a little taller than I am. I'm going to put a 60 round leg for her and then she's a size 8 shoe. So I will do probably a 70 round foot maybe. We'll see. Um, I'll probably have her try one of them on. She knows they're coming. She's seen them. She's approved the color. She picked the yarn and then when I got enough knitted for her to look at, she approved the color. So those are Anne's retirement socks. I love saying that. That makes me feel so special. Um, what else? Oh, one more pair of socks. So I have three sets of socks on the needles. Um, Peter Pan because I put aside so I could do the retirement socks and... This pair of socks only gets worked on at home because I'm trying new things. I do not know what this yarn is. Oh, here we go. So this is Barocco Comfort Sock Yarn. It is 50% super fine nylon, 50% super fine acrylic. It is, okay. So here's the label. And the color number is 1822. I will show you one of the cakes. I split this. It's a self-striping. I split this into two cakes. So I show you the bottom. It's all messed. But there. Okay. And I'm trying two at a time socks using Kay, the crazy sock ladies tutorial. And I'm using her pattern. Heel toe do si do. So I'm going to show them to you like this. This is how far I've gotten. Yes, this sock is a little shorter right now than this sock. But that's okay. This one will just be on the needles a little longer than this one will. But there you go. Um, these will not go by very fast, i got to tell you. The pattern, I'm having a hard time memorizing, which is okay. And... Um, I'm still trying to get used to the two at a time. But there's times when I just want to sit and just straight up knit socks, and there's times I want to sit and learn something new. So learning something new is my thing. Um, so yeah, uh, those get worked on when I'm home. I worked on them a little bit this morning, um, but they don't get worked on very much, I will tell you. 
maybe well I can tell you when have when did they go oops sorry when did they go on the needles Hold on, I'm pulling up my notes. Sorry for the sniffles. Stripe socks. I cast them on in February. So that tells you how long it takes. But I have finished other socks since then. And those don't aren't the go-to to go to work. Where straight knit socks are. So there's that. Let me show you. Huh. Okay, so I have a scrap blanket that I'm making. This is called The Coziest Memory by Camper Ray. I am putting in, I think, since last time, I put this orange in and I put reindeer games in. Now, reindeer games, I held double, um, so it's not as stripey as on the socks, but I think it still looks awesome. So I'm going to move my progress keeper and my stitch marker over now to that one. I have not finished another pair of socks as of right now, so that won't get any more work at the moment. I also have made a little bit of progress on my sweater. I will also say that when I'm at night, when I'm tired, um, the, the knitting comes out more than the stitching just because, and right now it's been a heavy work schedule, so I am tired, more tired than usual. This is the best basic raglan sweater by Jojo Logatelli, put out by Madeline Tosh. This is the pattern. I am knitting this. Let's see if I have a label. Oh, oh. I didn't put one of my labels back. I need the labels because I won't remember. This is in, <laughs> believe it or not, if you're hanging around from cross stitch, this is in my stitch com bag. Not from last year, but the year before, because I didn't go last year, I had to cancel. This is on Barocco Yarn Ultra Alpaca. And this is, where is the color? I think they put the sticker over the color. I don't know, this might be the color number under the price there. I'm not sure. But there you go. And so I have gotten, I have tried this on. I put this on waist yarn and tried it on to make sure it was going to fit me. And so far it looks like it's fitting just fine. But it's hard to show you. So this is where you go. go. And you can see my progress keeper. You see the collar, you see I'm coming down. I am, I think that I'm, Oh, let me show it to you longer. See the progress keeper? Got a couple inches since then. So I'm going to move that progress keeper down. I'm using the stitch stoppers that I got in my yarnable last month. And I think that I am... Now remember, I'm learning how to knit. This is my first sweater. So it's going kind of slow. I am about two, uh, three repeats from splitting for the sleeves. Yeah. So, I am planning to work on that a little bit in the evenings um, this coming week. I would love to get it to the point where I'm splitting for the sleeves, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen. Um, I mean, it's easy enough. I think I'm just trying not to speed knit on that right now because the last time I did try to speed knit, I ended up restarting that sweater. And so I'm really kind of just trying to pay attention on the repeats and, um, yeah, as I'm sure you can imagine, right? Uh, I would rather not have to restart the sweater. Um, and I'm just kind of taking my time and I'm enjoying the process because, um, yeah, 
I just want to enjoy the process and learn how to knit the sweater and then um, we'll see what happens from there. I only have one more whip to show you and that is my son's afghan. This is being knit out of all cotton yarn. It is dishy comb from Knit Picks. This is the color. For those of you that don't know, I knit my kids. I have adult, adult kids ranging from the age of, I think my son turns 28 this month. And my oldest turned 35 in January. Um, I knit them dishcloths for Christmas and put them in their stocking. Well, he loved the feel of that and wanted a blanket out of it. So he picked this color of dishy from Knit Picks. And we're just making a huge, basically a huge dishcloth. And then the diagonal, and I'm not going to be able to show you the full breadth of it because it's wider than my needles will hold. But we're knitting it from corner to corner. There's my progress keeper. So what? That's probably two, three inches. I try to knit a couple of rows every morning. I'm probably two-thirds of the way through one cone. Once I get to the end of that cone, I will switch to the other and we'll start decreasing and see what we come up with. But yeah, this is wider than it looks because it's not stretched out on the needles. But anyway, there's that. And that is my last knitting whip. I do have a little bit of knitting haul. My plans for knitting are way less structured than my plans for stitching. Um, it's grab a bag as I walk out the door. Hopefully I grab one that's just straight knitting and that stays with me. I have been taking my mom to some appointments. Um, so that has given me a little bit more knitting time. Um, but I also like to pay attention to what's going on in the appointments. So not as much as you would think, but five minutes here, five minutes there. Um, the husband, when he drives, uh, I usually am knitting and stitching I can't do in the car. So uh, yeah, knitting just gets more love, I think. But let's see what I get. So my mom, my, my birthday was in March and my mom gifted me um, some three by the sea fabric. This is fabric, <laughs> yarn. This is Blossoms Over Tokyo. It's in their St. Augustine base. It's a lace weight. It's 74% baby surrey alpaca and 26% silk. And my mom got that for me. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I will probably pair it with a fingering weight something. Um, and try making like a hat or something or a scarf. But it's very soft. like it. Um, I did get my last Yarnable. So if you are in Yarnable subscription service and you have not received yours yet, look away. Um, but I'm going to show mine. Um, it came with a lemonade drink mix. It comes with a pouch with some Notion, with some other things, and a card that tells you what's in here. I got some Sarah Hart's Premium Woven Labels. And I got Raspberry Lemonade Dip Mix. says to add 8 ounce cream cheese and 8 ounce whipped topping in a bowl, blend together in a mixer, add the contents, and chill for 2-3 to three hours. It's like a fruit dip. And then you come in this little zipper bag, which I've come to like these, even for cross stitch. I'll put my um, flosses in there and they don't get lost in the big project bag. The yarn comes in a nice mesh bag, which I also have grown to like and to use. And the yarn for April is, or May, Berry Citrus Bliss. This is plush sock, 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon. Very pretty. Very summery. Very springy summery. And I received my Freckled Whimsy Christmassy Yarn Club. 
I get this on their Splendid Base, 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon. It comes with a 100 gram self-striping yarn with a, um, I think it's a 10 gram mini. It's a 12, 20 gram mini. It is a 12 stripe repeat. And this one's called Twinkling Tree Lights. So that's going to be fun. I am a month behind. So I was going to cast on April's because this was March. Was this March? I think I only have one other one. Yeah. This was March. April's in the cabinet and this is May's. Um, hmm. Yeah, but I want to get another pair off the needles before I cast on April's. So I want kind of want to do them in order. So we'll see. If I can get another pair of socks off the needles, I will cast on April's and get that moving. Um, otherwise, it is what it is. If I have a stash, I have a stash. I'm good with that. That's the whole reason about being in the clubs is I get a stash. And I think that's all I have to show you. So the only other thing I want to talk about, and I'm hoping the stitchers have stayed on this long, but um, a few weeks ago, Gail from Gail's Gold Needle and Tina from Tina and Stitches and I did a joint floss tube, I think in February. I think we decided it was February 4th we posted that, and we thought it was time we did another. The three of us stitched together early Sunday mornings on a Zoom call. Um, we were together this morning, and... I think that's the greatest thing about the stitching community is that I'm on stitchy Zoom calls with people that don't live near me. Um, I have three of them a week. I have one on Wednesday. I have one on Thursday that unfortunately I miss a lot of times just because scheduling and grandkids stuff, you know. Um, but I have one on Sunday morning, early Sunday mornings, which has been a little bit of a struggle this semester, but I cherish it that time so much that I make it happen most of the time. But I have early on Sunday morning, I get with Tina Stitches and Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. And sometimes Kim from Stitches Stuff joins us as well and we stitch. Um, we like doing the joint floss tubes. It's more time for us to spend together. Uh, and so we have scheduled that, I believe. Hold on. Let me make sure to give you the right date. Now keep in mind, you know, things happen. It is going to be on Sunday, June 2nd, and so we're going to record that in the afternoon of the 2nd, whether each of us post it on the 3rd or the 2nd, depends on what's going on that day, but um, yeah, we're going to record another joint floss tube, so stay tuned for that. That will be fun. <laughs> that will be fun. Um, I'm hoping that that gives me more time to have more things done. Um, but thanks for joining me for today. Uh, if you celebrate Cinco de Mayo, have a great day. If you don't celebrate, have a great day anyway. Um, it's Sunday. It's a good day. The feet hit the floor and I am breathing. So for that, I am truly thankful. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Otherwise, keep me keep posting on my Instagram. And I'm trying to get better at posting progress pictures over there. I think that's it. I think that's it. Almost 50 minutes. That was a long one, people. Thanks for hanging in there. Have a great day.